I got many requests from you on making a false cinnabar tutorial. So this is it. I had to divide it in two because it's very long. So in this first part, we'll see how we can make the base box. And then in the second part, we'll cover it. All the box will be made out of scrap polymer clay. So I am using here the largest of the biscuit cutter set that I will put the link in the description. And I am um, wrapping scrap polymer clay that has gone through the machine on the thickest setting so that I can form a perfect circle. Now, don't worry too much about the um, edges because you can always uh, make them perfectly um, smooth out using sandpaper. All you have to worry about is to get the perfect round shape. This is a little bit different than the way I did the um, for Burlwood box. So place some bacon bond on the outside of the circle that you have cut and then place your circle on top of it. Now all you have to do is to cut out the shape from the uh, bottom sheet of clay and then gently shape uh, and trim out any excess clay and if need be you may even have if you didn't cut it perfectly straight you might have to add a little bit anyway uh, the same as for the full burlwood one we have to make sure that the bottom is very uh, well stuck to the uh, walls of the box so prepare a little string of clay and then place it right where the bottom meets the walls of the box and then gently smooth out with your uh, ball stylus. Now let's make the lid. Again, with a sheet of scrap clay on the thicker setting, place it on a, a spherical light bulb or whatever other spherical uh, baking blank you have. Use the next smaller um, cutter that you have in the biscuit set to cut a round of the scrap clay and then uh, work really good on making that cut pretty much horizontal because that will be the lid now the reason why i'm making the lid this way is because i need to make it more domed and looking more like the oriental jewelry boxes than the way that i did the full birdwood Now before making that, putting that in the oven, uh, let's first make the part of the lid that goes inside the 
bottom part of the box and for this I'm going to take a strip again of polymer scrap polymer clay on the thickest setting on the pasta machine I'm going to put it on the inside of the largest um, biscuit cutter in the set and then I'm going to use my ruler to make little indents so that my uh, inner side of the box of the lid that goes in the bottom box uh, will be completely and equally even all around now once your inner part of the lid is baked and you can smooth it with a little bit of sandpaper place some bacon bond on one of the sides of the rims and uh, then get again a strip of scrape crap polymer clay goodness uh, also on the thicker setting and then gently start uh, placing it right on that rim I suggest you first uh, keep the rim with the bacon bond on top and only after you place the entire strip flip it over so you can even it out nicely and also when you flip it over place it on some wax paper or regular paper that way you won't have to uh, move it or anything you can just take the whole paper and place it in the oven Now it's time to put together the top dome part of the lid and the bottom of it. So uh, place some bacon bond on the inside of the dome and on the top part of the bottom of the lid. I don't know how to explain it otherwise. Then take another strip of scrap polymer clay uh, and place it half inside the dome. You need to leave about half of it free because that will connect the dome to the lip of the lid and watch how I'm doing it here after you do this you'll have to simply just nicely smooth out using your um, fingers and your bowl stylus and then do a pre-bake that is what I would uh, advise you of course you can try to do it in just one go but um, my advice is to do a pre-bake at least 20 minutes of that.
okay time to refine that lid even uh, a little bit more yes this box is quite a bit of work but i can assure you that is totally worth it uh, and I want it to look nice so that I don't have to worry when I put a veneer on it on um, smoothing then this is why I want my base box to be completely smoothed out so I'm going to place a little bit more uh, scrap clay wherever there is a dip in the lid so the inside of the lid will look also nicely and beautifully domed and then on the outside where the dome meets the lip of the lid i'm going to place another small um, string of clay and i'm going to smooth it out nicely so the whole box looks beautiful <laughs> 